nice little interactive map to show you uh, so that you can um, buy uh, natural food farms and all that yeah actually I have two maps to show you um, this one is great I mean we, we should be uh, supporting these small local farms not the corp corporate whores um, and so that's great that's a great map now before I show you the next map that's relative to this I want you to think about when you're the most angry about something. You know, things upset you and you yell and you scream and you might, might swear, and like I do. When I get angry, I get a little bit violent, maybe. Or, or aggressive, I guess is a better word. I'm not a violent person. But uh, anyway. But you know when you go past that level of anger where you become very, very just calm, collected, patient yeah yeah that's one of those times that's why I'm not swearing about any of this <laughs> okay so you got all these farms notice how they're here on the the east coast and in the middle of the country okay and then we got some out here you know but I'm, I'm, I'm just pointing out the majority right around this area and then this area all right now take a look at this nice little map as well Well, you can see what it is. It's a map of the nuclear reactors and what will be affected if, uh, you know, any one of them goes off, each of those circles. And geez, look, they're all right in this area. And this area. So we're growing the majority of our farm-raised foods within the radius of nuclear <laughs> reactors I could show you a link that tells you that 75% of those reactors have been leaking radioactive tritium for over 10 years and whatever else is in there. I just remember that one article I read a year or two ago, whatever it was. You still like your cheap power? <laughs> Go get you some farm-raised eggs, why don't you? <laughs> As much as we fight, are we really going to pull ourselves out of this? Every one of these needs to be shut down. I don't care, and I don't want it. This is because this is when I will maybe become violent when any one of you give me any statistic that says that this is okay, that we need this. Look over at Fukushima. It's raining on you now. Those same reactors in Fukushima have a flaw. We know from hidden files that we found that reactor 1, which is, they're all, uh, what is it, the Mach 1 GE reactor, they have a flaw where they, uh, one of the valves doesn't work quite right in a quake like they said it would. They're not rated for what they said they were. And we know that number 1 went into shutdown and failure at the quake, not the tsunami that flooded everything. It was going to blow because of the quake. Yeah. And that's relative to us. Because we have the New Madrid zone, obviously, everybody knows about that. We don't have to tell you about this area, Cascadia, uh, you know, San Andreas, all that. We also know that in the last year, this area has become active for quakes. There's fault lines here, and they're starting to wake up. Now, you know what? As far as me and my family, I can vouch for my kids and how they think. <clears throat> Quite a few of the people that are connected to me. If, if you gave them the choice to go without any power at all, and have safe food but they'd have to come up with their own power source they'd have to find their own way to light uh, cool 
whatever they need to do. They'd have to find that on their own, but we could give them absolutely clean food, air, and water. Would they give up their lights? I can guarantee you they'd say yes. Those same people voted for all this shit. Just thought you ought to know. Start doing something. Because any one of these goes, it's going to set off a chain reaction, or could set off a chain reaction. Look at all of them. Yeah, power's cheap. And I know they, they, they talked you into this because if they do this, back then when it all started, right, wind power was inefficient, and all these things, they had reasons. And oil, you were so mad at oil because we were using too much and you had an indication that maybe it's hurting the earth and you know that it's, you know, the same as the dollar bill. It's just a, a way for evil to be leveraged. So you submitted to this so that you didn't have to fight about oil. Maybe you thought that we weren't going to go to war for oil anymore. <laughs> Boy, they got you, didn't they? Yeah, keep voting. Keep voting under this corrupt terroristic regime that doesn't give a shit about you, your kids, my kids, the planet. They don't give a shit about the rest of our neighbors in the world. Okay, so Fukushima's over here, and it's dumping on us now. And then when this happens, we're going to be dumping on our neighbors. If I were our neighbors, I would be on a, uh, on a spree to inform every American citizen to shut these down so that their shit didn't fall on me. The system is designed to destroy. It's got to be shut down. Every time I look, everywhere I look, and I look from many different points of view because to make a decision that, that you want to share with everybody, you have to consider everybody else and, and how it affects their lives, right? So for this one guy in the middle of all this shit here, there's one guy there and he loves that nuclear power plant because all the workers come into his store and buy his products when they're on their lunch break. <laughs> and he doesn't know that that nuclear plant is killing his children right now because it's leaking shit into the water supply. And then it's getting into his neighbor's food who's a farmer. And that farmer is selling that food to his neighbors. <laughs> that that guy might even be bringing that farm food into his store to sell it to those people that are dumping this shit into the food. It's a funny little circle, isn't it? At the end of that circle, everybody dies. Anyway, just thought you might want to know where to get some farm fresh eggs. Much love. Many thanks. And hopefully... I'll see you soon.